do you know how long have I waited? Uh, okay. So, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are in a very new location and you will see this location a whole lot. Actually, this is not a new location because a couple my last couple of videos, I shot it here. Be filming all my videos from here, from now on. So, full production. We have great lighting, great location, my safe space, my favorite place in the whole entire world. It, I am actually back in Indonesia for good. I am currently home in Jakarta, Indonesia forever until further notice. I officially left New Zealand for good. I'm done with my uni, I've graduated, and I'm just back here at in, in Indonesia for good. Like, I don't know for how long, but I am home, <laughs> basically. So, uh, currently I am self-isolating at home with my family. Um, I did the swab test done in New Zealand, and the border said I can come home means that I'm gonna start making more videos during self-isolating and after self-isolating because I have a lot of ideas in mind especially after Maya and since I'm taking a new approach to this channel so I might as well just um, build up my portfolio and shoot something creative now that I'm at home and I'm basically in the best mood possible um, but not gonna lie I miss New Zealand at the moment but you know I'm just happy to be here like well in this first video of me self-isolating basically um, I'm going to I decided I want to make a travel essentials video because I just recently traveled from New Zealand to Indonesia it was a long flight so I just may share to you guys what is my travel essentials what I would love to have in my bags and my suitcase, um, my carry-on suitcase when I'm traveling and what to me is essential for my travel journey. Hopping on a plane for the first time in five months and probably for the last time for now and for probably a year because of this pandemic happening, like it's crazy. I feel like I have missed traveling so much. I miss like hopping on a plane, just go to new cities and just traveling and um, I might as well just make this traveling related video because who doesn't love traveling? Like honestly guys, we all love traveling. So might as well just reminisce <laughs> some of the travel essential stuff going around to give you guys an idea of what to bring when you travel. What's important to bring when you travel. So if you love those stuff and if you want to see more about like my travel essentials, please keep on watching and I hope you guys love it and I hope this is probably means something. So yeah. So when it comes to traveling, I always carry a handbag and a carry-on suitcase. That's a routine, like that's essentials. So when it comes to the handbag that I bring, I make sure that that handbag is something that I can fit into like under the seat in front of the plane, you know, like under the seat in the plane. Because sometimes the overhead compartments are so full and there's no, nothing to fit. And if I were going to bring a big bulky backpack, it would be just a nightmare to find it somewhere that's like far from the sea because everything else is just would be so full. You know, so I always make sure that I carry a handbag that is not that big and not that small, but that's like enough to fit enough to fit my essentials and also enough to fit under the seat in front of me. Because so this bag is an essential for me. Uh, I just got this for my birthday um, back in April. So this bag isn't too small and isn't too big for my essentials. It fits all my essentials perfectly and it's so easy to reach everything in. Um, meanwhile, if I were going to carry a backpack, like a Jansport backpack, it would be so hard to reach like my passport whenever I'm in immigration or my boarding pass and yada yada yada. But with this, you can carry this on your side and then when they check your image when you check their passport and boarding pass and everything else you can just zip it open carry it give it to them and then when you're 
done you can just always put it in back in your sides you know that's I feel like it's more convenient but this bag is a speedy 30 Louis Vuitton holy shit what's that? Louis Vuitton uh, Demi Rabin speedy 30 which is basically just like there's like 25 30 35 or 40 this is 30 and this is enough to fit all my essentials and it's not that big it's not that small it's just perfect and this is such a classic bag and I love this bag so much um, and I'm gonna show you guys what's inside this travel bag so it's great so I got the bandolier one so basically there's two speedy um, there's like a speedy like a classic speedy with no straps and I got the strappy ones which is like cost me an extra two hundred dollars and I'm just gonna show you guys what's inside my bag so first thing first I have my beads my beads because basically like on the plane I need to listen to some music or watch some um, TV shows or some movies because usually I have a long flight Auckland to Singapore is like 10 hours and I cannot go 10 hours without watching something or listening to something and sometimes the earphones on the plane suck it's the type that I just don't like and carrying this is comes in handy you know because this is so comfortable and I um, use this every time and this is just very very important and it comes in handy I also have a pencil case and this is I got this pencil case from typo I think I believe it was like eight dollars I got it for eight dollars it was on sale and this is just a really small pencil case and it's not too bulky the thing about it you don't want anything too bulky so this is a very small and it contains pans some pans some correction tapes and some highlighter as well sometimes like you know I read the books and I fill out a lot of immigration documents customs form whenever I enter a country and you know sometimes a pen comes in handy I always carry scrunchy because I have quite like a fuzzy hair and sometimes things get on the way and it gets um, really like inconvenient sometimes and I sweat a lot the thing about me like I sweat a lot and being in an airport and rushing to get like to check in to go to immigration to go to my gate and sometimes I run sometimes I get late and having like my hair down would complicate things but somehow like having a scrunchie to keep my hair up is just what I need sometimes when you when my hair is up like this it just gives me more air so that it's not too like you know you know what I mean I don't know how to explain it it's just like the feeling of hot and just like the heat especially especially in Indonesia Indonesia is really like hot like everyone is hot it's like heat like I need air and this to keep my hair up handy 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 and next I have my sunglasses oh this is actually my reading glasses so I have my reading glasses and I have my sunglasses here I for all my life I've always have no problems with my eyesight and I never had to wear glasses but ever since I start uni and spending a lot of times in my laptop a lot my eyesight gets slightly worse and I needed to get glasses and to see clearly so I have to get um, an Read, like a reading glasses and my sunglasses in my travel essentials um, these, these are by Bailey Nelson and they create the most amazing glasses not sponsored if you don't know what Bailey Nelson is it's an Australian brand um, it's very popular in New Zealand and honestly God like these are amazing and I'm wearing Oscar Wiley right? <laughs> it's not lens yet I'm wearing this for our aesthetic but I'm gonna get this lens um, because it's so cute look at but anyways, I always have to have reading glasses and sunglasses on. Me, all the times when I'm traveling because you don't know where you're going. So this is my Billy Nelson glasses. Uh, this is lens. This is like, it's prescribed. There's like a prescription lenses over it. It's kind of like dirty. It's in rose gold and it's just so pretty and it fits my whole face really well. And I wear this 
when I'm in uni, when I'm doing my work, I just need to carry this around me, um, with me at all times so because things get blurry and I cannot, it you know, I have to squint, but with this, it just makes everything easy. And this sunglasses as well is by Bailey Nelson and it's the cutest. This is like literally my favorite sunglasses of all time because with my with my face shape, you can see like my face shape is really round and it's so hard to find like a perfect sunglass, perfect shape of sunglasses that fit my face perfectly, like complements my face. But this is just the cutest and the most amazing sunglasses ever and this is like literally my favorite. I'm gonna wear it right now just to show you guys. Like, oh my god, this is just the cutest, compliments my face real well. This is my favorite sunglasses, like I have to carry this for me all the times because sometimes, you know, a girl needs to take her selfie and you know, you know, you know the trail. The story around this glasses is actually really pretty. Uh, it was really funny. So me and my two best friends, uh, Dylan and Puspa. Hi, if you watch this, Dylan and Puspa. Miss you guys so much. I'll see you guys soon. So we went to Takapuna, which is basically a suburb in North Shore in Auckland, to get some food and just to hang out, do a little shopping. And then we went to the Bailey Nelson because Dylan wants to check out something and pick up his glasses. Like Puspa showed me this glasses and asked me to try it on. And I was like, oh, that looks ridiculous. Like, does this look ridiculous? They wouldn't fit my face and then she asked me to try it on and I did try it on for fun and turns out I actually am straight like from the first moment I tried this on I immediately switched lane and changed my mind and I'm absolutely in love with this glasses and this is in the shape Kurt I don't think they make this anymore but this is just my favorite sunglass ever and I like these glasses too this is also my favorite glasses um, one of my favorite actually one of my new favorites this is by Oscar Wiley but the thing is, if this is not lens yet, I'm gonna get it prescribed uh, so that I can wear this um, effectively because I still cannot see shit because this is not prescribed because I'm wearing this for the S setting and it makes my face look good. And the next thing on my essentials is my iPad. So I stopped carrying laptops. After years of traveling, I went to Europe, the US, Japan, New Zealand, Australia, and I was carrying my laptop and just realized how bulky it is to carry a laptop and I have to take it out, go through like security and then having to put it put it inside of my little suitcase, like carrying suitcase and I have to take it out and just like that little, little, like it's just too bulky and it's just too much work to take it out and put it out, put it in inside of the suitcase so I always so I decided that this year I want to carry I want to have an iPad so that I can save my shows here do my work my my work my stuff when I'm traveling like on the plane so this comes in handy I love this iPad this is the iPad Pro 2020 with the dual camera and it's in 11 inch and I do my some of my reading some of my notes music, shows, social media here um, when I'm traveling because so I feel like it's more convenient and more portable and it's small and it's, it fits into my bag if you can see that it fits, my iPad fits into this bag and I just need to carry this one bag and when I'm in security security screening, just take it out and screen it and put it back in without having to mess with my carry-on suitcase. That's, I feel like that's more convenient. And I have the Apple Pencil too, but I think it's in my drawer. And I'm not gonna bother to show you guys, but you know how what Apple Pencil is. So, um, so I just love keeping everything in here instead of just like having to open, like I said, of like opening um, my carry-on suitcase. <laughs> it's just too much work and I need to be somewhere really fast. With me, I have like, thorough anxiety of being late to board a flight and I always I always arrive in the airport three hours prior to boarding so it's an Asian thing I don't know I was raised that way but yeah next on my essential is this electronic pouch so I keep every charger every wire inside of this nurse pouch so I have my Louis Vuitton 
I have my Louis Vuitton, um, what do you call it, lock in here. So to lock my bag and all that stuff, I always skip it here, but I don't, I don't use that. Like I have to be honest, I don't use the lock a lot. So next I have my spare, you know, my spare ear pots in case, in case that my ear pots are running on battery. I keep it in this pouch. Also have an iPad charger in case my iPad is running low battery. I always have an iPhone charger as well. You know, you, you need you have to wear a charger. You have to bring your charger every time. Like that's the rule one on traveling. Bring your iPhone charger because you'll never know when you're gonna need it. And I have two plugs. This is Indonesia plugs and this is New Zealand plugs. New Zealand and Australia actually. I actually learned to bring like the this sim card thing from Dacre Montgomery because in one of his videos with GQ he explained that he always brings like sim card needle with him at all times when he's traveling and I feel like it's so handy because I change sim card a lot when I go to New Zealand I use my photo phone when I come here in Indonesia I use Stockholm cell and he put everything inside and just put him in and just put this your back and it's all organized and but oh, I just found it. this is the Apple pencil so I just found it it's, it's inside of my bag so this is the Apple pencil just it has a magnet to it and you just stick it in like that but sometimes I put this on the pencil case so that it won't be too hassle and I don't have to take everything out in order to find that little thing so next and my essential is my kind of like a toiletries bag but actually this is like my skincare, body care, makeup essentials here. I keep this on a very clear bag because during screening they need to see everything that you're bringing, every liquid that you're bringing. So nothing in here exceeds 50. 100 milliliters because you know when you're on the plane and then if you travel internationally limits on the liquid that you have to bring on the plane it's 100 mil so everything in here is less than 100 mil and i put this in the clear bag because it makes it easier for them to screen your uh, liquid so i'm gonna i'm gonna take you through every single thing that i have in here because everything in here is essential to me so First thing first is a hand sanitizer. In this times of pandemic and coronavirus, hand sanitizer and keeping uh, personal hygiene is very important. So I always carry a hand sanitizer. This is by Aesop, which is an Australian brand. And this is the Resurrection Rinse Free Hand Wash. And it's rinse free hand wash and it's basically a hand sanitizer. It has mandarin, rosemary, and cedar at last. And it smells really good. I got it for $15, which is basically just so pricey for a hand sanitizer, but this is like more natural and a little more organic and it's just key. comes in the most amazing packaging ever. And it smells really good and really fresh too and really kind of like more natural and more natural and amazing. And this is vegan, so yeah. Next, I have so I have like two perfumes in here. This is Chance by Chanel, which is basically their Eau Tendre. This comes out like this and you just put it down. And it's refillable, so you just pop this in. So this is like, in. this is like the case and then you just buy the refill, pop it in and that's it. So I, it always comes in handy when it comes, always comes in handy for me to keep smelling good because you know airports running around here running around there going to the gate it makes me sweaty and i sweat so easily and a lot so it's so important for me to bring perfume to keep me from smelling bad and i also have another perfume with me which is by aesop too this is in the scent hoil smells really good and it's a unisex unisex perfume as well and it smells more leafy and more natural and it kind of complements to your scent like your body um, more and it smells really great it stays on all day and I remember just spraying this on one of my jackets and 
for the next couple of weeks and it smells just like this okay it smells it's just like this must get you like oh my god i smell really good and you just feel so good wearing this so also by aesop <laughs> i got so into aesop because of one of my friends as well next is i always have a deodorant this is a nivea dry comfort and 25 milliliter so this is a tiny deodorant you know to keep your body odor from smelling like like ass basically so it's so like trash so i always carry this around and we touch whenever i'm in plane because sometimes when you're in plane you tend to sweat a whole lot so you don't want that next thermometer very important to keep my especially when you're traveling in the coronavirus pandemic it's very important for you to keep your keep a tap on your temperature uh, especially since you don't know who you're traveling with if they're positive or stuff thankfully my test my swab test came negative so that's where i can come home but keeping your temperature is really important because you don't know what's gonna happen in like the next five minutes so important next i have this immediate moisture facial hydrosol of course also by aesop and this is basically just a face facial spray to keep your face stay hydrated usually on the plane my face gets dry and kind of like a little bit like icky throughout the flight and having this just keeps my face looking fresh it's moisture hydrated and feels great so this is it and this has rose petal bergamot and chamomile chamomile and you can also set your makeup with this which is basically just amazing <laughs> next is this also by Aesop I basically changed my whole toiletries to Aesop everything that I wear my shampoo my body wash everything is Aesop because I just feel like it's more organic and natural and it's also vegan so and it's makes it makes me smell so good so basically that's why so next one is by Aesop too. This is Post Drops. So basically, you know, we all do business in the toilet, right? Number one, number two, and all that jazz. So this is what I dilute to the toilet bowl after I done my business so that the person after me would, you know, feel... So I don't, I don't leave traces of shit set in the toilet or shit or piss in on the toilet. So I dilute this onto the toilet bowl. It comes in a dropper. So basically you just dilute this on your toilet for like three drops or something and it leaves the toilet bowl smelling really good. And it smells like basically tangerine peel, ylang ylang and mandarin. It smells so citrusy and it smells really good. And I also do this in my own toilet, in my own bathroom so that, you know, next time I take my other businesses, my session business I just the toilet keeps smelling like divine and amazing so next is my lip balm my lips I have my lips are so sensitive and it's like it gets chapped so easily so I need to have like a lip balm in my bag at all times um, not only for traveling but all the time so this is Frank Body Lip Balm basically just frank body lip balm smooth and it just gives my lips the moisture it deserves and keeps my lips looking plump and less chapped the next one is actually a lip product i have a colored lip gloss by dose of colors in the shape in the shade seriously and this uh dose of colors lip liner in nitty gritty this kylie lipstick in 20 which is my favorite shade i'm wearing it today and i have this gloss by blossom beauty so when it comes to me like you know you know you have to whenever you wear makeup whenever i wear makeup and um i got my lipstick on and i eat something and it gets really like bleh, you know like it melted off i need to have my favorite shades preferably nude lip products on my bag at all times because it goes well with any look like now i'm I have like a purple look and it like well, nude lip solves every look so I make sure to carry them in my bag just in case my lips are melted off like the, the, the lip color are melting off so I just need to have it 
and also a gloss because I'm into glosses right now. Next thing is passport. You have to have your passport of all times. This is actually my old passport. My new passport is in the other table, but for demonstration, just carry your passport at all times. This bag has a compartment in here, so usually I just keep my passport. Keep my passport there. And secure it. And next, my essential, <laughs> my essential is my phone. I always have to have my phone at all times. I also have my wallet, but my wallet is in my bag and I'm too lazy to just go over there and just carry my wallet. This is my wallet. It's a Gucci B wallet, which basically is similar to my Gucci backpack. I think you guys know that, but this is my wallet. I keep everything here. And of course, my phone. And I'm gonna show you guys like some of the things that I listen to on the flight whenever I need. Whatever I'm like having moments of anxiety and sometimes turbulence is so scary and I need something to distract me. Um, lately, I've been listening on the plane to this. This is a DKMH podcast by Jacob Montgomery, which is basically my role model when it comes to film, all things film, all things director, directing, and poetry. He is an actor, he plays a million Stranger Things, a bad boy who was sadly deworded on the third season. I'm still pretty much sad about it. And he writes poetry and he has his podcast on Spotify. I listened to this on the plane the other day and it calms me down. Something about beat poetry and um, just his voice and just like the poems and the message around the poem calms me down and it just struck me we had a turbulence the other day and for once i did i wasn't kind of like in a panic mode like, like i usually am and i listened to this i was listening to not to fall actually it's my favorite poem and it just calms me down there's something so calming about big poetry and i'm and I want to get more into it, like I want to be more into it. My all-time favorite is Valentine and Not To Fall, also in vitro. He has a film about that as well. And I know I wait is my new favorite. And um, yeah, I listen to it on the plane and it's basically just a calming experience, like a therapeutic experience. And um, and Jaker himself tweeted me last little story. So I made not to fall in Valentine to an acrylic art and I tweeted Daker about it and he actually noticed it the other day and I was like I was I cried and I still cannot believe it happened. So if Daker if you see this at some point, thank you so much. It means a lot. And I make a lot of playlists actually on my Spotify. I Switch to Spotify from Apple Music because I feel like Spotify more personalized and it's like the aesthetic surrounding it is just amazing and I make playlists on Spotify and I save it on my phone and I'm gonna link to you guys and I'm gonna show you guys all the playlists that I'm making. Lately, I'm into jazz music and I have the playlist called Midnight Lounge Hours which is basically filled with a lot of jazz music that I like and um, so basically Midnight Lounge Hours is what I listen to the plane and I have Aubrey's Interlude which is a Drake based playlist, Drake central playlist. I have Pets Full of Dreams which is basically my Coldplay playlist so I listen to a lot of Coldplay, Drake and jazz music when I'm on the plane and also a little bit of Ariana Grande. I'm um, gonna show you guys but most importantly today come on go my podcast is what I listen to and what's um what i am into at the current moment so yeah next stuff here it is on my carry-on suitcase this is basically an ajax eco respect multi-purpose wipes you need this every time you go so especially in this time of pandemic you need you want to make sure you wipe off every single survey so i put this in my carry-on suitcase and i can carry that on my bag my lift up bag and just wipe off every single thing before touching it because this is very handy i carry this this is basically just in this scent fresh lemon so here essentials is basically for a long layover so i had a 20 hour layover on my last flight here to indonesia and sometimes when i have like a 6 to 20 hour layover i book an airport transit hotel 
to take a shower and just to sleep and I bring my own toiletries because sometimes the hotel doesn't provide like a soap or they do provide soap and shampoo but I don't really trust it because it's usually just hotel stuff if you know what I mean but I, uh, I actually carry my own travel essentials toiletries which is also by Aesop this is not sponsored by Aesop I just love Aesop brand like I'm actually in love with Aesop and I actually switch everything to Aesop so this is the Nashville kit this is basically just travel kit that they give you filled with like the sample the sample size of all their best products so in here it comes in this box and it's really nice it's, it's really well made and well thought of design this has basically this has a classic shampoo which is I love their shampoo so much but I wear I actually purchased the full size of the nurturing shampoo and my hair feels so much better because I'm tired of those chemical -y shampoo to and those are too strong and actually kind of breaks off my hair but with Aesop it's really soft it's really gentle on your hair and I like it but they in this kit they have like the classic shampoo they also have the nurturing conditioner which I have the full size on um, which I have the full size off like this is so gentle and this is so soft on your skin on your scalp as well they also have geranium leaf body cleanser which I also have a full size of it smells really good it is mandarin geranium and bergamot and this is just smells divine and it's just really nice they also have geranium leaf body balm it's basically just a body lotion to keep your skin looking really plump they also have the mouthwash in a certain size they also have toothpaste and into my special hydrator and I actually have they actually have the into my special cleanser which is so amazing and it's so cooling I wear this the other day and my face feels so fresh especially after such a long flight and also with that they have into my special toner as well which is so amazing on your skin and I feel like I want to buy it. I want to buy the full size one but they don't have Aesop in Indonesia which is sad they basically in this kit give you all what you need for a long layover and after the flight before the flight and just making sure that you're fresh and plump at all times so I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like it looks like this so it has like this thing and in here they have like a quote saying somewhere something incredible is waiting to be known which is so inspirational and honestly and I actually love Aesop's um, aesthetics as aesthetics so much it's like a new like minimalist and kind of like earthy next important thing and the travel essential is a mask so now that we are in pandemic mode um, all the airports and the planes require you to use masks I actually purchased mine in New Zealand. This is from, I don't know what you call it. But these are from New Zealand. I forgot what the brand is called. But this is a cotton, the cotton, you know, cotton mask. But with this, it won't protect you from virus. So I actually carry a surgical mask. Um, Hair surgical mask, a pack of like a surgical mask with me at all, all times. So I wear this first and then I layer this with that and just wear it to give you a little extra protection. This is actually really breathable and it's very comfortable, although this one is slightly kind of like a uh, pain in the ass sometimes, but I can actually breathe in this and despite of having like two layers and it's to keep to give me. like my airpods is also my essentials but i cannot find it i think i i think i dropped it somewhere else but that is all 
about my essentials and I hope you guys get something from it I know this is like a lengthy video and I am so glad to be back making more video for you guys this is this channel is gonna take a turn a little bit I just want to make new aesthetics and give you guys more um, meaningful content and more you know more things that more creative I feel like I want to give you guys more creative stuff in this channel and I want to share more I want to give I want to talk more I want to share more I want to show you guys more of my family more on what we do every day more on my house more on my routine more on my new interests and all that stuff in this channel and i hope that you guys love this video and i hope that it gives something to you and i hope that it helps you pack it helps you what to pack and what to not pack and i'm so glad to be back and i'm going to especially i'm going to surely and absolutely make more videos now that I'm in self-isolation at home and I'm actually finally at home and I'm so happy my mood is the best it has ever been and I'm gonna show you guys more on my updated room tour because I'm adding more stuff leaving more stuff and rearranging more stuff and I'm so excited to show you guys that um so for now that's all of really and I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next video which is gonna be coming and I hope this week like a day like a couple of days after this because I want to upload more so yeah see you guys in the next video and I love you guys so much and I miss you and yeah bye <laughs>